Tommy Farr, filmed at his training ground at New Jersey, is keeping himself in fine fettle for the great fight. Meanwhile, Lewis and Farr say a few words through Gaumont British News. Tommy Farr, what make you think you will win? I'm 23, the same age as you, and I've had over 3,000 rounds of actual fighting and never taken the count. You've only had less than 200 rounds of boxing and you've been knocked out. Anyway, Lewis looks in good form as he trains for the fight for his life. But Tommy Farr has a special word for his friends and the old country. All Britishers the world over can rely on my manager and me to win or die in the attempt. Sounds like two to one to me. British boxer Tommy Farr is in training for his world title fight with Joe Louis. And all America is watching the Welsh boy who is shot to the top with the swish of a rocket. Who would have thought only a year ago that the unknown Tommy would so soon be making world headlines and looking like a winner all the way? So here's good luck to Tommy, and may you bring back the smile of victory. Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, Joe Louis defending his world heavyweight title for the very first time against the tough Welshman here, Tommy Farr. 15 rounds of boxing, anticipated. Tommy Farr, former British and Welsh heavyweight champion, reigning Empire champion. And Joe Lewis, a very economical boxer, very, very economical mover, and a very hard puncher too. So Tommy Farr really up against it here. And Farr comes into the ring with a record of 66 wins, 18 by knockout, 21 defeats and 13 draws in 100 fights so far. And Joe Lewis comes into the ring with a record of 36 wins, 30 by knockout, just one defeat in 37 fights. That one defeat, a 12th round knockout of the hands of Max Schmeling. to shout about in round one as Tommy Farr and Joe Lewis come out to trade blows. Tommy Farr known as the Tony Pandy Terror from the Rhonda Valley in Wales and uh, Joe Lewis despite being born in Lafayette, Alabama is now a native of Detroit, Michigan known as the Brown Bomber for obvious reasons. This is the first defense for uh, Joe Lewis, having beaten Jim Braddock for the title. It was an eighth round knockout. So far, looking to big up points behind the left hand. Referee for this one, the very experienced Arthur Donovan. So round three of a scheduled 15. And Joe Lewis not wasting a single ounce of energy here. Tying up far on the inside. First defense of course for Joe Lewis of the heavyweight title. And he wants to make absolutely certain he gets this. And this is the biggest fight of Tommy Farr's career. And 
despite that loss to uh, Max Schmeling, there's been some excellent wins on the Joe Lewis career, uh, record so far. As I mentioned, Jim Braddock, he took the title off. Wins over Jack Sharkey, Max Baer, and Primo Carnero to name but three. four then and Tommy Farr versus Joe Lewis world heavyweight title and there's been some good form on the Tommy Farr record that gets him this match wins over Walter Neusel a point over Max Bear and of course that win over Ben Ford to bring him the uh, Empire title the win over Max Bear by the way overshadowed by uh, Lewis's uh, performance over the same man It appears that Eddie Phillips was uh, one of Tommy Farr's bogeymen earlier on in his career. Fought three times and Phillips won all of them. Fairly low key first four rounds as we come out for the fifth here. And uh, Joe Lewis is an absolute master of the sport. Good jab there, smacking into Farr's face. And he slips so effortlessly, powers a punch so well. Well, Farr there lands a right. left hook there from Joe Lewis body and head well, beginning to pick up the pace now and Joe Lewis one of those fighters who does just about enough unless he really has to Joe Lewis, it looks like he's got a fairly comfortable ride on his hands here against Tommy Farr. So far, boxing well within himself. Well, right up a gut there from Farr. Tommy Farr looks uh, a wee bit uh, hesitant in overcommitting himself. And who can blame him? Up against one of the uh, finest fighters in the world. <laughs> Cut over Tommy Farr's left eye now. Oh, another bad round this now for Farr. Quite busy. And once again, that left hand work from Tommy Farr, doing the business for him, picking up the points. Once again, a decent right for the body there from Tommy Farr. And this Welshman having a real good go.
So a decent sixth round there for Tommy Farr. Can he build on that here? Joe Lewis, the reigning and defending champion, making the first defense of the heavyweight title here against the reigning empire champion, former British and Welsh heavyweight title holder, Tommy Farr. Nice bit of work there from Joe Lewis. That left hook of his is an absolute peach. Joe Lewis there switches a lovely left hook to the body. Coming up then, and uh, Joe Lewis, well, he's uh, been decided to uh, vary his attacks here now, head and body, both hands, particularly useful with the left hook. And uh, Tommy Farr looking to pick up points, of course, behind that left jab of his. Easier said than done against a supreme boxer here in Joe Lewis. A right hand attack there from far. Lewis just popping out that left jab very laconically at times. But still doing enough to keep far busy. Oh, nice bit of work there from Tommy Farr. Again, a decent right there from the Welshman. Then comes in behind the left hook. So a decent round again, this for Tommy Farr. And a very good sixth, remember. And when he puts uh, Lewis under pressure, it really does show. Ninth round. So an excellent eighth there for Tommy Farr to go along with his good sixth. Round seven, there wasn't much between them. And this is Tommy Farr's big moment. The biggest fight of his life. Tommy Farr has done 15 rounds previously, so that shouldn't be a problem. But of course, the nervous energy expended against a fighter like Joe Lewis will take its toll.
thumping right there again from far. Well, Joe Lewis needs to wake himself up a wee bit here. Another decent round, this, I think, for the Welshman. Tenth round. And uh, Tommy Farr has had a, a good spell for round six here, through to nine. And uh, Joe Lewis, well, he needs to get himself back together. He's kind of eased off the gas. And I think Tommy Farr's problems will come if Joe Lewis realises that the threat is great. They really step on the gas. And again, a couple of left hooks there from Tommy Farr. Far still bleeding for the left eye as once again Louis there lands a lovely combination. Left right to the face. <laughs> Round 11, 11 of a schedule 15. And uh, Joe Lewis landed a lovely combination in the previous round. A left right to the face. Joe Lewis' face almost impassive as he goes about his job. Bardo still steaming in. And Joe Lewis always prepared to defend himself when he lets a punch go. A right hand is always in the right position, except, of course, against Max Schmeling. Jab from the champion, single to follow. So it looks like Joe Lewis then has got uh, control of this after a few hard rounds. And once again, Tommy Farr will not be denied. So a virtually impassive Joe Lewis then comes out for round 12 here, defending his title so far successfully against Tommy Farr, but Farr has had a good spell in the middle rounds, round 6 to 9. Some of the others have been close. Took off the jab there from Farr.
Joe Lewis, such a dangerous operator when he steps up the pace. Well, Tommy Farr not quite as effective here in this round. Oh, the right hand missed. And Lewis still picking up the points behind the left hand. Round 13, unlucky for some, will it be unlucky for Tommy Farr? So far he's fought with very, very fine spirit here against Joe Lewis to try and become the heavyweight champion of the world. But it has been almost a pure boxing match between these two men. The success that uh, Tommy Farr has had really has come from a spate of aggression I did say earlier that uh, Joe Lewis has been fairly passive throughout this, doing what he had to do. All of the hard work I've done is, is done, of course, in the gym. Many, many rounds of sparring under their belts. And again, that double left hand for Joe Lewis. That's a real nuisance for Tommy Farr. Well, Farr comes back to the right over the top, but takes a left hook. <laughs> Round 14, a neat, fluid footwork from the reigning champion, keeping him out of trouble. Well, Lewis now trying to push the Welshman back. And of course, the harder that Far tries, the more work Lewis will do. But still a sterling effort, this, from Tommy Farr. Lewis is such a good boxer, such a good puncher. <laughs> Fifteenth and final round then, and Tommy Farr looked uh, fairly dejected. At the end of the 14th, didn't have a lot of luck. Let's see what he can do here. Can he take the champion out with one punch? And once again, master footwork there from Lewis. Well, looks like the Alabama native will keep hold of his title here. <laughs> 
first fight outside of Britain for far and he's acquitted himself well he's up against a master champion Well, those uh, middle rounds for Tommy Farr were excellent. But uh, before and after, it's been a tough one. And it looks like Lewis kept his title. I was glad to have success in the first in the end of my first title. Uh, Tommy Farr was very tough. And I hope to fight Smelling pretty soon. Well, I'll just say, hello Britain, I'm very sorry that I lost the fight last night, but I can assure you I tried my best, but evidently the, the, the officials, they thought my best wasn't good enough. Were you hurt any in the fight? Oh, I was hurt plenty, yes. My, these highs will show you that, and my, my hand gave me a lot of trouble when I broke my finger, of course. And uh, do you hope to get another chance at Lewis? Well, I've been promised a return match with him sometime next year for the championship. And I think I'll win it. And how soon are you going back to uh, Britain? Well, as, as soon as possible, because to me, Britain is the only country in the world.